Hey everyone, so this is my first um, tutorial on, um, basically I'm going to show you um, some CSS and how to change the way that Blogger looks. Um, now, like I said, this is Blogger and the, um, I do mostly use Blogger myself, so sorry for those who use WordPress. However, some of the stuff you will learn in this might be handy, you can use, some, you can use CSS outside Blogger. Um, okay, so we're going to work on this menu bar, or the nav bar, as it's sometimes called. Um, it's this is not really very nice looking, is it? Um, if you look at um, my website, I've done this. I actually used to use this, and I didn't like the look of it, so I did this. Um, you can see there's various other things. Um, it's been centered. It has a hover color. There's an underline on the links. Um, so I'll show you exactly how to do that. Uh, how you can personalize it and everything. So firstly, um, I'll actually show you from the beginning. Right. So we go to design, and you see here I am using the widget pages. That's what's made that uh, menu go up. So I'm going to remove that. And uh, where it says add gadgets, just below the header and below the blog posts, uh, above the blog post even, um, instead of using pages, which as it says displays a list of standalone pages on your blog, we don't want that. What we want is the HTML. Now it doesn't need a title. So we're going to say, well firstly we need to give this bit of um, coding a name, so give it an ID basically. I'm going to call it my underscore navbar, but you can call it whatever you like. Uh, now a bit of text, so here's the basic of our menu bar. I'm just going to have three little things here. That's basically what is on my website. And to end that, we need to put that. So these need links. Nothing too hard. We just go like this. And then inside here, we type in the address that we want the link to go to. So home page. Makes sense to put it to the home page, right? Oops. And then we close the link where we want it to finish on the text. So if it's only the one word, we close it around that one word. So it's, it's that link is wrapped around that word. Uh, we'll do this again here. I'm a bit lazy, so I'm going to use the same link because it doesn't really matter in this point. I'm just showing you exactly how this works. I've actually made this blog so you guys can see what I do, and you'll see my this blog change over these tutorials. Okay, I'm going to leave this one blank because um, you'll see some things that will affect links and some things that affect stuff that aren't linked. So there we go. Uh, we'll save that. And let's press re refresh. There it is. Not very great looking. Still not there, are we? Okay. So we're going to go on the template design. By the way, you'll notice I'm using the old blogger interface at the minute, simply because I'm getting lost in the new one. Um, like I said, I'm currently using Simple, uh, just because I find it really, really easy to change it. Um, I've actually picked the purple for now, but you can pick the set colour schemes, you can change the width, let's put it about there. Sidebar. Uh, which, how many sidebars you want? Left, right, footer. But we're going to go to events, and we're going to go way down here to add CSS. Now this is where it comes into play as to why we named that um, that bit of um, HTML that we put in, because we need it. Oops, I've given it the wrong name already for this. Right, here we go for the first bit of CSS. Let's colour... You'll notice that a lot of this is American um, English rather than British English. English rare. Yeah. Um, so you can use 
names for word for this though, for, so red for example. Okay. Um, pink. You get the idea. So no, I think I'll use purple. There we go. And we'll align it as well. So it's center. Ta da! So now we're going to close that up. If you're wondering what this, how you get this, um, I'm not sure again if you're a non British keyboard, but if you look next to the letter P, you'll see a button and this button. Now, if you hold down Shift, which is the one usually below cap locks, little pointy up arrow, you'll get these. Ta da! That's just what you need for CSS. Um, so let's work on the links. As you can see, I've coloured in the non links, just the normal text, but we haven't got anything nice for the link stuff. So we do the same. My underscore navbar, or whatever you've called yours, oops. Helps to spell it right because if you don't, it won't work. Um, this is what you use for links. So, again, we're going to go with color. Now, let's pick a different color. Um, let's use a code. So, I'm, I use Photoshop quite a lot for when I'm looking for a code for other. You see these types of codes here. Um, but there are websites that can help you with that stuff if you don't have Photoshop. So, it's that. And then, so there you go, I'm just going to apply that to my blog. There we go. Still doesn't look very great, does it? So let's give it a different font. Font family. There we go. Um, Font size, it's a bit small, isn't it? So, should I say 18? You'll notice because the um, the font size is only in the linked area that the links have grown, but the normal text hasn't, which includes little dashes I've put in between. So, if you want those bits to be bigger, you then put it up here. So, font size. We won't put it the same size because I want to show you differences and stuff. Um, let's say 5. Oh, that's a bit too small, isn't it? 10. Mm. Let's put 15. I'll make this one a little bit bigger. Just so I can actually see a difference. 20 maybe? Here we go. So there you go. Um, next, what else can we do? Um, font style. How about italic? There we go. So that again has ital uh, made the links italic, but this has got not got the italic font style, so that's been kept the same. Right, uh, let's do padding as well because they're very close up together. Oops. Um, I can never remember which goes which, but it goes something like top, either the left or the bottom, oh right, I can never remember, bottom, and then again left or right. I'm sure someone will respond telling me that I'm trying to be incorrect, blah blah blah. Um, but I'm still fairly new to this myself, so bear with me. So let's close that. Now, um, actually, let's apply it and just see how it is on the blog. There we go. Now, mm, still not great, is it? Um, I know the pick the colours are horrible and stuff, but I'm I'm using bright colours that you guys can actually see and everything. But you'll notice. Um, I've got a different hover colour, and also you'll see that the lines disappeared. You know how you usually get a line on the on links? Well, it's disappeared. So you're probably wondering, how on earth did I do that? Well, CAS comes to the rescue. 
So we start again. My nav bar. Oops. If you do spell it incorrectly, literally nothing will happen. So you've got to remember it has to be spelled right. So we're going to put A, uh, colon, and then hover. You notice that there's no spaces on that bit there. No space. Um, so color. Okay, let's oops, pick a different color. Let's go for something that's a bit like pink, just a lighter pink maybe. Or should we go for a purple? Let's go for a purple, a light purple. So there we go. Um, so we colon. You won't see hover stuff on the bottom part here. You will actually have to apply it and refresh and then try it out yourself. So there we go. It's changed colour. I quite like that actually. Um, but we've still got the line. Hmm. Shall we see what we can do about that? So how about text decoration? None. Apply. Ta-da! No line. Uh, I believe you can do other things as well. This is where you find out that I'm totally and utterly wrong. Yeah, I'm totally utterly wrong. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm still learning some stuff, but... There you go. Um, I'll actually write in the various decorations that you can do. There are, like I said, there are other things you can do, but um, I haven't got it in front of me at the minute. Um, so, what else can we, we can do everything else in there, um, well let's leave it for that. So we'll save there, and we're done. Um, that's pretty much everything, I mean it doesn't look amazing because I said I was trying to show you some stuff. Actually, you know what, we're going to change, again I'll show you some other things, font, family, So that's gone to the same font family as well. But yeah, um, I will make this look different, of course, to make it look better. But I I'm literally doing all this to show you guys exactly what affects what um, and how it affects, etc. And the fact that this this part only affects certain stuff, this affects certain things, uh, and that's something else that you can do as an option as well if you wanted to remove. The line, for example, that's usually found in links. Uh, and also if you want to add a colour when hovering, for example. So I hope that's some help to you. Um, I will show you pretty much most of the stuff that you see on my blog. I'll show you how to add um, images with links. Um, I'll show you how to do your own... Uh, how to put your own banner up, etc, etc. And I said, it's very, very simple stuff that I've used. Um, and you can see very close to what they look like. A lot of the stuff is just cheeky little things that I've done with CSS. Uh, and a lot of things from Photoshop. Uh, I do understand not everyone's got Photoshop, but um, really, if you need some sort of help with that, you can always ask um, someone for help. But generally, pretty much most of the stuff, you don't even need Photoshop for that sort of mag magical stuff. So, I hope that's been of help. Um, I'm going to put this up on my on YouTube and see uh, if it actually loads this time, because I've done this a million and one times now. Um, you can find me at www.petitemom.com uh, you can also find me on Twitter as Petite Mew. I haven't seen my background in forever. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook. Uh, and you can send me emails as well. There's a button there for you to send me emails if you've got any questions.